Hi, this is Dr. Mason. We're, uh, this is uh, part two of our seven-part uh, mini-seminar on hearing loss, its causes, and treatment. Uh, part one dealt with a general overview on how we hear. Uh, uh, today, on part two, we're going to look at uh, the treatable causes of hearing loss. That's a common question. Uh, 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 maybe I have a hearing loss that can be easily treated. And when we look at the ear, we're going to go on each individual cause of hearing loss. So the first cause is really just a wax buildup in the ear. Your primary care physician can take a look at this and ir easily irrigate it out. Um, uh, that's, that's the easiest solution. The more common problem is a perforation of the eardrum. Again, this is something that your primary care doctor will note, and uh, this is an ear, nose, and throat surgeon will be able to close these perforations off. It's a day procedure, a uh, day surgery. You go home in the afternoon. Uh, relatively painless, surprisingly. Uh, but a more common problem uh, is blockage of this eustachian tube from a head cold and allergy. Anything gives you stuffy nose because this is where this tube drains. It's the tube that pops when you go up and down an airplane. When fluid builds up, uh, uh, your hearing drops down and we can put you on antihistamines, decongestants, steroid nasal sprays to open this tube. In a patient who's been on these medications and really doesn't get better, frequently what we can do is simply make a tiny pinhole perforation in the eardrum uh, under local anesthesia, uh, it's done in the office, uh, and remove the fluid and the hearing returns to normal. Um, it is said that nerve hearing losses, hearing losses that involve the cochlea, really aren't treatable. That's not true. There's two, two areas that we're concerned about. One is a sudden hearing loss. Uh, you wake up one morning and there's, uh, you've lost the hearing in one ear. Um, uh, it is essential that you have an audiogram that day. And why is that? Because the uh, quicker we treat this, the better your chance of recovering your hearing. The treatment is steroids, uh, uh, just they put you on steroid pills. Occasionally, on rare occasions, we'll inject steroid into the middle ear. Uh, a painless procedure, and uh, the hearing comes back. But the sooner you're tested, the sooner you're treated, the better your chances of recovering your hearing. A second area of sudden hearing loss uh, that does not occur that quickly is really a cochlear loss due to a fluid buildup in the inner ear, not your middle ear, but the inner ear, and that's treated with diuretics. So these are all treatable causes of hearing loss, and the key point that I'd like to make is it is critical to have your hearing tested, because until we test it, we don't know how to treat you, and we don't know the nature of your loss. So my recommendation is if you suspect a hearing loss, first step, get a hearing test. We look forward to seeing you. Now again, on uh, part three of the seminar, just to give you a preview, we will be talking about tinnitus, ringing of the ear. Thank you. See you next week.